and welcome to Kevin 10082 on the Disney Fantasy, a deluxe family ocean view stateroom with veranda and I'm here in the shower because I think it's one of the best features of this cabin. It's huge. It's a large circular shower. I'm six feet tall. I have plenty of headroom between the rainforest shower head or there's also a handheld and you're in a small circular bathtub so plenty of room for the little ones who want to take a shower. Let's take a look around. We'll start by taking a look at the stateroom's location. So we are midship. These are the midship elevators. You can pull up the deck plans at DisneyCruiseLine.com. So you'll notice that 10082 is located close to the midship elevators, and it is not a connecting cabin. You want to check out what's above. So above is the main deck area and we did hear noise so there is some noise of chairs moving of kids running to the ice cream station so you will hear some of that and below us is cabins so we definitely did not get any noise from the cabins below us but we did get some noise from the deck above us you can tell you're headed forward if the map faces the right way and a little trivia those flags spell out disney fantasy so let's take a look around. So here is the main bed. This does not split into two beds, which you'll find on other cruise lines. You do have two plugs right next to the right side of the bed as you're looking at it, a North American plug and a European outlet, plus a small drawer. On the other side is the plug-in for the phone, so there are no electrical outlets there. You have the sofa, a Murphy bed, as well as a pull-down bunk, so this sleeps five, with the curtain separating the queen bed from the three other beds. You have a very long table here with a lot of storage. So if you did have five people, everyone could have their own drawers and cabinet space. You can see there's USB charging ports as well as two North American and two European. We ordered distilled water in advance. And then you have cupboards, drawers. In the top drawer on the right side of the desk, you'll find the hair dryer and a mat. So if you're using curling irons or any other hot appliances they ask you to set them on that on the left side is the small mini fridge you can bring on canned sodas if you'd like we brought on a, an eight pack of canned soda another thing that sets disney cabins apart are the two bathrooms or the split bathroom on one side you're going to find a sink in the shower tub combo, which I gave you a preview of before, but here's a look without me in it. So you have the handheld shower as well as the rainforest shower. And then I think this is great. There's this little sitting area where you could be seated while the little one's in the tub without you having to kneel beside it. So there would be enough room there. There are currently H2O products in the cabins. H2O is going out of business, but Disney has not announced a new partnership. Now, if the handle is straight down, that bottom handle is straight down, you'll fill the tub. You'll move it up to the left. The first is the handheld. The second click is the rainforest. The toilet and sink are in the other side of the split bath, and that also has good storage, a couple hooks, as well as these nice shelves. So plenty of room um, to accommodate everyone. You have a split closet as well. This is the longer closet. You could see the ladder is there for the bunk. And then there are a couple more shelves, a smaller closet for kid clothes or shirts. You have the temperature control right next to the door and you do need a card to turn on the lights. We just use my BJ's card. Out on the balcony, you have an upper lock as well as a lock on the door. Uh, plenty of room here for two people. Five would be crowded. This one does not connect, so you wouldn't be able to open the doors in between two balconies, and you have a large overhang. So just there's a close-up there of how it's all steel. You're not going to be able to open that, and you're not going to be able to stare straight up. So on the nights where there was a full moon, we really had to like duck our head out to see it, uh, but you don't see anything above you or below you, so it's very private. I hope this gives you all the information you need for the Disney Fantasy Cabin 10082.